Now in this tutorial what we want to do is to um, actually take that logo that we saved from Century 21 and we want to put it on our business card. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to minimize this so we're back to our business card. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert that logo on the business card. <clears throat> so in order to do that I just go to my insert menu. I'm going to go to picture and I'm going to navigate down to where I saved my logo, my Century 21 logo. Now one thing you want to keep in mind is anytime you download something or save any file you know, from the internet or any, any file on your computer, please make sure that you know where you saved it. That becomes very important or you go crazy trying to find it later on. So I'm going to go ahead and pick the Century 21 logo that I found and then I'm going to go ahead and insert it into my image. Now as you see it just pops up and it's right on top and it looks you know kinda not too neat right now. What I'm gonna do, the first thing I'm gonna do is just hold my shift key down with my left hand and I'm gonna go ahead and just resize this logo down to something that's a little bit smaller. I'm gonna just go probably about there. Now a couple things that I want to point out to you while this logo is still fairly large in size is that I want to pick this Century 21 colors up and uh, a lot of times people will say well how do you do that well what we can do is what we call sample the color uh, it's sort of like if you want to paint a room in your house uh, say for example a second room or or let's say I give you a perfect example is where you have a uh, you're preparing a um, a bedroom for the new child that's going to be coming along and, and say it's a boy and you were at somebody's house and you wanted to get you really love that color blue that they had on the walls you may very well say hey do you still have a some some of that paint that I can go ahead down to Home Depot and have them make a batch for me uh, because you've seen that color and you want to reutilize it again so that's why we're doing it this way so what I'm going to do is right up here I'm going to select I want my the brown if you will this dark brown to be up here and I could go through and tr drive myself crazy trying to find what that brown is really like but what I'm going to do is I'm going to sample it and by the way this works the same way in every single graphics program you can find whether it's Photoshop, Photoshop Illustrator, Microsoft Publisher, Microsoft PowerPoint, Microsoft Word it all works the same way so once I select the item what I'm basically going to do is I'm going to go down here and find the um, where I can change the uh, color so in order to do that once I've selected this this thing you see the handles around it, I'm going to go up here to drawing tools and the menu changes and I'm going to say change here to where we call fill shape I'm going to select this it'll be a drop down menu and I'm going to go down here to where it says sample color so I'm going to click on that and I get this it's kind of like a little um, uh, I can't think of the right word right now but a little uh, where you stick it in a medicine jar and you uh, you you know pull up so many drops of uh, I wish I could remember what that is right now but let's just call it a sample a little thing with a, a little squeegee thing on the end of it so I'll click here and the cursor changes to this and I'm going to go down here and I'm going to find that Century 21 color right here that's what I'm going to use that color I'm going to click on it and you'll notice that it changed so the color now matches what's here now the next thing that I have is I want this color here of this box to be the gold so again I'm going to make sure I'm selecting that box not the individual text like this but the box itself and I'm going to go down here I'm going to go up here and I am going to go back here I'm going to go down right here where it says sample fill color and I'm going to go down and find this Century 21 color which is right there and I'm going to click on it and you see that now I picked that color up so this is a way that you can actually pick up and sample those colors uh, to utilize on your card. The other thing I want you to notice is that I'm able to now have the Century 21 logo right here. Now I could move this around. Um, so for example, uh, for the placement on here, I could just go ahead and click on this, hold my shift key down with my left hand, and then I can go in here and just resize this logo a little bit smaller let my mouse pointer go 
move over here like this, bring it down to the bottom of the card, and then I'm going to move the text here up a little bit higher, like this. I'll move this up a little bit higher. Hold on a second here, this one right here a little bit higher. Actually, I'll grab the bottom of it here. It's a little bit easier to do it that way. And you'll see that I was able to reposition that. So now that's centered and I have the Century 21 logo down the bottom. So now that's essentially what my business card is. And uh, I, uh, pretty simple to do. And, uh, you know, and again, this is a business card that I made up. You may like it, you may not like it, you may want to move it around, change it, you may want your logo in a different location. But this again is how we're able to find a logo, put it on our business card or whatever f literature we have, which could be your real estate flyer, could be your business card, could be a brochure you have made up, could be you know a letter you're going to create, a website, whatever. This is how you do it. And then I think what's really kind of neat is being able to pull the colors, sample the colors that are in that logo to make them the same for your business card. And again, the sample color, the same conceptual idea works again in Microsoft uh, Publisher, Word, PowerPoint, Excel, all the uh, different kinds of other graphics programs like Adobe Illustrator, Adobe Photoshop. It all kind of works the same way and it's a way that we can match the colors.